Hey, so you're thinking about coming to New Hope, huh? Well, we know it can be scary looking for a church, so we want to tell you a little bit about us. Many times people make the equation that coming to church means that your life is all put together. But at New Hope, we believe the exact opposite. We're all messy and broken in our own way, and the very reason we come together is to be healed, encouraged, and given truth. So every Sunday we meet to be with new friends, to worship, and to study God's Word. It's exciting, and you should come join us. To give you some background on our story, the last few years for us have been nothing short of incredible, and God gets all the glory. In 2013, Pastor Andrew Browning and his wife Sarah moved here from North Carolina and held their first service. We met every week in the upstairs classroom of an insurance office with really just a handful of families. Families that were committed to seeing God do something great in the Northwest corner. And I don't think any of us anticipated how quickly God would begin doing that work. Within months, we were double and triple parking cars and very obviously outgrowing our space. So we started searching for a bigger property. And as God always does, He came through and He provided the space that we now call home on East Main Street in Torrington. We thank God every day for His provision and for how He is changing lives at New Hope. We've tripled in size and we feel like God has done the same to our hearts. With God adding to our pastoral team earlier this year, He's enlarged our vision and our capacity to love. We want to welcome anyone and everyone to New Hope. Our doors are always open. We're always ready to listen and to help. And right now, we want you to hear stories. Stories from just a few of the people God has brought across our path these last few years. I have a girlfriend in upstate New York who found this church for me. <laughs> I live in Torrington, I'm local, and um, there's lots of choices, there's lots of churches here. And uh, I texted her, I, I think I said something like, you know, I'm lonely or something. She's a Christian. And she said, time for you to find a church. And I said, okay. She sent me two links, modern technology, right? So she said she wasn't going to tell me which one to go to, but she kind of pre-approved, like knowing they'd be biblically placed. And uh, I chose New Hope. We got married in the Catholic Church, and we just knew that something was missing. We were uh, searching, and at that same time, we ran into our own difficulties, and I would say that we were on our way to divorce. Um, and thankfully, we went to counseling, and that counselor was a, a Christ Fowler and she uh, just recommended some materials and I think we both kind of came to Christ at the same time just going through that whole growing experience of hitting rock bottom and Christ was the rock so that's awesome. I was raised Catholic and we were you know looking for more of a Bible based religion. I felt very good about the first experience and we kept coming back and it's been a, just about a couple of years now and we're really happy. We consider this our church family now. I hadn't been to a church in a really long time. And we were going to do it every Sunday. We going to pick a different church and see what it was like. And this was, the second, it was our second stop. And that's where it ended. <laughs> it was, uh, we felt really good when we walked in. Well, I can't say that I remember precisely the first uh, service experience, but... Um... It's not, uh, it's not, shall I say, fluff. I mean, you get into the Word of God, you, you're learning. It's a learning experience, but there's no more valuable lesson you can learn. So, um, and that's really what we're looking for, is to be taught. Uh, we want to you know, know more and know more about who we are in Christ. And it is a very inf informative, yet fun uh, service to be a part of. I ministered at a church for about seven years, and we moved to this area. And and uh, we were getting discouraged. There were wonderful churches we were visiting, but it just wasn't where we were called. And as a matter of fact, we were sitting next door um, having a meal at, across the street at Applebee's. And we looked up and we said, what about that place? So we came in and knew right yeah. away, right away, mm -hmm. right away. Um, as soon as we came in the door, it wasn't that, uh, kind of fake greeting uh, where there's people positioned that that's their job it was it was you it was real it was a warmth 
and it was a peace that came upon, I think, both of us because we looked at each other and said, this is it. Yeah. And what that was, was that was the Holy Spirit. That's, that's the confirmation the Holy Spirit's telling you, this is where you're going to be serving. And we knew it right away. Um, you know, I, I visited um, a lot of churches. You know, when you visit a church, they, they, um, a lot of the people just descend on you. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes it can be a little, a little overwhelming and, and sometimes the message is, this is where, you know, God wants you to be. Yeah. And, um, but when we were here, um, it felt very natural, you know, I felt a, a, a concern from the people. Yeah, but they not, pressuring you. But not yeah. um, undue or artificial pressure. Yeah. And one of the members, after we began coming a couple times, said, oh, I'm glad you're back. I've been praying for you. That was um, something more than just we want you to come because we want you to come. It was a spiritual concern. I was scared to death. <laughs> <laughs> and every step, I parked in the parking lot, and every step I took sort towards the door, I was arguing that this battle was going on inside me. Just turn around and go back to your car. Nobody even saw you yet. It's okay. Just go back to your car. Go back home. You didn't, no, nobody even knows. It's okay. You tried. <laughs> And uh, I came to the door, I was greeted. I don't even know who the women are now, I feel so bad. Um, but I, I confessed immediately. I said, I don't know what I'm doing here. I've never been to this type of service. I'm really scared. They took me by the hand. Oh, don't worry. They're very welcoming, reassuring. They sat me down next to one of the parishioners. Um, Wendy is her name. And she's the most loving, amazing person. Such a calm, relaxed spirit <laughs> for someone as fearful as me. And uh, she led me through the service. And of course, that day, the service was written just for me. And um, I had some tears and I cried. And I wouldn't say um, I was saved at that moment, but I knew I found a home here. So that was a really different feeling and a really joyful feeling for me. New hope. After all, isn't that what we're all looking for? A fresh understanding of what or who hope is. What we thought would bring us hope and satisfaction ultimately fell short or crushed us in some way. Well, we have good news. Hope has a name. His name is Jesus. And if you'll give us one Sunday, we'd love to help you understand more about that hope. I hope you'll plan to visit us. We'll see you soon.